My name is Sean Patrick O'Reilly, and I'm the founder and CEO of Arcana Studio. We're a comic book publisher as well as an animation studio. Uh, hopefully you guys are safe out there. I know there's a global pandemic going on, and I think all of us are somewhat heartbroken. I'm not going this year, but at least I feel a little bit cool I'm doing this panel, so I'm, I'm very happy with that. Uh, one of the first things we want to talk about is Heroes of the Golden Masks. I'm, I'm the director and producer of this animated feature film. We have 65 people working from home. Uh, we basically got them a computer when, when the whole COVID thing started in March. Uh, we got everyone a computer, dropped it off at their home, and we have a VPN. So when they log into their computer, it feels just like they're on, on location at our studio in Burnaby, British Columbia. And uh, yeah, so we have everyone working from home. Uh, we're really proud. And we want to show you a little bit of our, our upcoming animated feature film, Heroes of the Golden Masks. Crossroads of time lies an ancient mystery. Behind this mystery lies a tale of magic, monsters, and relics of legend. And behind our greatest legends stand our greatest heroes. Hey, so that was Heroes of the Golden Masks. We got some amazing voice talent in there, and we're hard at work uh, indoors doing the best we can there. Another project we have coming up is Ultra Duck. Now, Edgar Delgado, he's an amazing creator. Uh, Ultra Duck is one of the premier titles from the Arcana Library. We've published over 300 graphic novels, hard to believe. We've published them, and Ultra Duck is one that's near to dear to my heart. Uh, we've seen it translated into numerous languages, and uh, we're going to show you a little bit of Ultra Duck here, and we're going to hear from some of its amazing creators, Umberto Ramos and uh, Edgar Delgado. It's, uh, it's me, Umberto Ramos, and today I'm going to talk about my good friend's comic book creation, Ultra Duck. Well, the first time I I met Ultra Duck as well as I met Edgar was um, some somewhere in the late nineties. We used to have some um, comic book conventions here in Mexico, the small ones actually. But there was this one. Um, there was the, the 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 main convention in Mexico, and this uh, bunch of guys from Monterrey came down to. To Mexico City where I live and uh, they suddenly uh, brought this all new vibrant um, characters and books and uh, you know all, all create own something that wasn't really the thing in Mexico I mean we were all or many of us were trying to break in comic books in the in the states we were all trying to to break in the comic book um, you know the superhero comic books, as well, and um, but so it wasn't in our radar to to come up with our our own books, our own characters. Hey, how are you? Well, I'm here uh, to tell you a bit about uh, Ultra Duck, uh, my character. Ultra Duck was uh, a character I created when I was uh, twelve years old. Uh, he. He started us out uh, as uh, as part of a of a universe I had of of uh, furry characters that that I was drawing when I was a kid. Uh, I was a big fan of the Disney cartoons and uh, 
the movie Roger, Roger Rabbit came out in, in those days. So my my kid mind blew blew up when I saw uh, uh, that movie, and I started like obsessively uh, drawing animal characters in those days, and I started uh, drawing them in in adventures that I that I made on on notebooks in the school, and uh, one of those adventures was uh, about. Uh, the duck character, which for some reason was my the, my favorite one to draw, I, I was also a fan of Ducktales in those days. Uh, one of those stories had the the character, the duck character, uh, start out a superhero, and all the other animals that I yeah, used to draw were secondary uh, characters in those stories, and it took off uh, uh, as, as a way to to express uh, myself and as a way to tell stories because I wanted I wanted to be an, an animator I wanted to do movies but uh, in Mexico uh, at least in those days there was there was nowhere to go uh, if you wanted to do that so comic books was the uh, the second best thing for me to do what I wanted to do which was tell stories about these characters so in my I, I was a really uh, not very outgoing guy or kid in those days so I stayed home drawing and I remember I did like maybe a hundred uh, adventures of that uh, of Ultra Duck uh, and all that all that time I was in my mind saying when well, oh, someday this will be a real comic book out there in the world and when I turned 18 I self-published uh, a comic book in Mexico with Ultra Dog as the main character. This was made with uh, the help of my family. They uh, they supported me a lot. I I always thought that my father what what he wanted was okay. I'll help you. I'll help you do this book. But if it doesn't work out, you're going back to school. So so that's that was the incentive. Uh, lucky for me, uh, the the book that we published. Uh, was uh, a minor success. Uh, I mean, people liked it. That this was in 1994. As it happens, the the book the book was uh, was fairly popular in Mexico, but it didn't make any money because the country is not all uh, well, the country is not uh, that uh, interested in in, the, in that kind of market. So I ended up uh, with all the skills that I had, that I learned while, make my, while making the book. Uh, I started looking for, for comic book work in the, in the United States. And uh, I ended up col uh, coloring comic books in, uh, in the States. And, and then in the back of my mind, I was wanted to remake the Ultra Dark book, uh, but uh, for an, a wider audience, you know, not just Mexico, but this, the United States and, and all, other places. And uh, that's how we ended up uh, with Arcana. So here we are now. Ultra Dark has uh, uh, it's a book. Uh, we have uh, also the, the spin off of uh, The Valiance. The book is published in France and uh, will and it will be published in Italy soon enough. And now we have the project of the movie, so I think the I think the character is in good hands. I think it has uh, it has potential, and uh, let's see where it goes. Uh, I'm really excited uh, about for the future of uh, of Ultra Duck, and I hope uh, people stay for the ride because. Uh, because I've 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 have I've been starting to have a, a pretty small but loyal fan base that really like the book, and uh, and yeah, I hope they stick around and and we'll have a lot of surprises. I hope this universe uh, gets uh, bigger. So yeah, that's uh, basically uh, uh, how Ultra Dog came to be. Uh, I think it has uh, potential. And uh, and I run. Up, I want to thank all the all the people that that uh, keep uh, asking me about uh, the second volume, which I'm working on right now. Uh, I, uh, 
it will come out next year i promise it so yeah thanks for listening and uh, see you soon after all this uh, health emergency ends but uh, we'll get through so thank you after taking a look at heroes of the golden masks and ultra duck hopefully you agree that arcana's quality has gone way up uh, i've written direct and produced eight animated feature films heroes of the golden masks is number nine and we've brought the quality way up uh, i've done this for a while uh, dr phil has a funny thing he says keep doing what you do and keep getting what you get and we've done very well the slate we've done the first eight films is kind of slate one moving forward uh budgets are bigger uh we have a more experienced crew uh we're taking our time with things and um these next films uh, i really want to take to the next level howard lovecraft one of our canada's biggest franchises uh, we've done three animated feature films with the amazing people at shout factory and stars and crave in canada and uh, we've taken that series that many of you have seen and and we're bringing that also to another level um the, the, the little short film we're about to show you is actually two scenes from the upcoming Miskatonic animated series. Uh, the events take place after Howard Lovecraft and the Kingdom of Madness. Uh, you'll see he looks a little different. He's a little bit older. And so now Howard has all these incredible adventures, uh, which later in life he will write about as H.P. Lovecraft. Currently, he's only little Howard Lovecraft, but but... He's now going to Miskatonic University, School of the Dark Arts. And so the series is a 10 episode series where we actually see Howard go to school and train to do magic. So let's take a look at uh, two scenes from Miskatonic. Come on, Howard. I'm coming, Amelie. Sleep through your alarm again? No. Maybe. You need a louder alarm clock. <sighs> <sighs> oh, it's loud, all right. I just keep having these weird dreams. Come on, Professor Kerwin won't hold the class. I want to get a good seat. <sighs> Someone's a fan. And you're not? I've read all about his family, the work they've done. One of the perks of being the chief librarian's daughter? You better believe it. Come on. Today, we'll be discussing shapes. <laughs> There's power in symbols, and I'm going to show it to you. Circles are strong. No straight edges to snap, no corners to break. Likewise, triangles have strength of their own. They can represent the elements and can create great stability or great destructive force. Their hexagram illustrates the union of opposites. Body and spirit, strength and stability, balance. Ooh, Miss Armitage, Mr. Lovecraft, our star prodigies, show us what you can do. I'd like to try a defense spell. No, Fatagu, no, Gluey. Good. Now, focus! Ah, uh, uh, allow me. Mm, Naguni. It's harder than it looks. Careful now. You know it's dangerous for spells to... Howard! <laughs> what?! Get out! Everyone, back! It should have worked. It should have. Oh! Here in the heart! Who are you? Any time now? Finish the spell! Shut it down! Right! Who are Well now, you all see the benefit of practice, don't you? Howard? Howard! Howard, are you okay?
Hopefully you've loved what you've seen so far. We showed you Heroes of the Golden Masks, Ultra Duck, and Miskatonic. By far, these are the three best looking projects our Canada's ever done. Uh, and it's thanks to the amazing people working from home. We have about 65 incredible employees that are at home, safe, and, and it, it, it's unusual. We use uh, Discord to, to talk with people all the time. Um, there's been new measures in our pipeline. Uh, it's not been easy. This has not been easy, but we're keeping productions moving forward and we're pretty darn excited about what's coming up. So we actually are going to take a look at some of those hardworking people uh, because they've given us videos as well. And, and you can see some of the Arcana crew that work from home and are making these incredible films and series. Here they are. I'm Skylar. I've worked at Arcana for three years. I can honestly say it's one of the, the funnest and most unique places I've ever worked. Uh, 2020, 2021, they're going to be big years for the studio. And I think everybody should be uh, watching watching out for what Arcana is bringing out. It's going to be good. Yeah. I've worked on three or four different projects with them and it's uh, it's been my honor and my pleasure. And I can't wait to continue. Let's go! Hi, my name is Mitchell Ludford. I am an animator at Arcana and I have been working for Arcana for four years now. If you are a animator who's looking for a place where they can learn and grow at their own pace, Arcana is the best place to go. You know, we have uh, people with varying experience from f four years, such as myself, all the way to 15 plus years. You know, and we're all happy to talk and give our advice to anyone who comes in. Uh, we've, it's a very casual work and overall fun work environment as well. All I feel I need to say is that it's just been a very enjoyable experience for me. My name is Fernanda and I've been working at Arcana for around uh, two and a half years now. Uh, the project that I liked the most to work on it was probably Heroes of the Golden Mask. We are ac currently working on this now. And I think uh, I'm very attached to this project because I have been part in a lot of uh, sections of the pipeline. So. I work as a concept artist, a visual, visual development, like I was started doing matte paintings and now I'm in the surfacing team. So uh, it's really nice to see the, how the movie is coming up and see like this tiny bits that you're working on actually coming to life. Buildings that you design are actually being modeled and texture and then seeing them in the shots is pretty fun. Uh, one thing that I like, uh, that I like Arcana the most is because you have a sense of teamwork in there. It's easier to talk to other departments, to discuss your ideas, and everyone uh, has their their opinion about how the scene is going to be approached and how the shot is going to be shown to the viewer. And I think that's really cool. Your your ideas can be heard and like they can be developed. And also, I don't know, you create like this big co-worker and team experience that is very important uh, for the project to be finished and accomplished and I think it's it's working pretty great. Hi, I'm Cody. I've been working at Arcana for a little over four years, mostly as a character modeler. I've gotten to work on quite a few projects and watched Arcana grow. Uh, my favorite has been Howard Lovecraft and the Kingdom of Madness, because I really got to start working on some of the creepier monsters uh, that are part of the whole Lovecraft mythos, which was a lot of fun. Then gotten to work on some crazy other stuff, like a giant monkey mech from outer space. Uh, I'm most excited uh, for a couple of our projects we've got coming up, though, because uh, it should be a big step up from what we've already accomplished, because our studio has now grown uh, quite a bit. Hi, my name is Brandon Parnell. I'm working at Arcana Studios on Here's the Golden Mask and Ultra Duck. I'm a 3D modeler and surfacing artist. I've been working at Arcana for almost a year now and it's been a wild ride. Uh, we've just now gotten some renders back and they're looking amazing. Seeing something go from a gray blob to a like fully rendered beautiful scene with voice acting and everything. It's truly groundbreaking and incredible. 
Arcana has helped me every step of the way, and working with all these talented, amazing people has really, it really shows in this studio and the work that we're producing. I'm really excited for what else we have in the, in the pot right now, and I'm sure it's all going to work out awesome. Thank you, everyone. Uh, stay kind and stay safe. Goodbye. My name's Billy. I'm an animator. Uh, I've been working here for six years, and when I first started, there was five people working in the office, you know, like a couple animators, one editor, a modeler, and, uh, you know, we each, we all had to do, like, multiple jobs just to get things done, you know, animators had to uh, render, and, you know, we had the modeler had to do all the editing and, like, compositing you know that's interesting to see and uh as the years gone by we've gotten more people to do those jobs and like i i wouldn't have imagined like back then that oh i've had a problem i can just ask but one specific person and they can fix it in one second because uh back then we just had to do it ourselves and like you know as our projects have gone on you know, our work has been gotten better. Our workflow has gotten better. You know, back then we just literally like did everything ourselves. And if it was a problem, we have to like figure it out on our own. So, and it's, I couldn't have imagined that our company with five people can become like 50 people with everybody has their dedicated jobs. And um, I can't wait to see what's happening next, you know, in the future. Hi, my name is Brady Keeler and I'm a production manager here at Arcana Studio. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit around right now. Um, obviously during COVID-19, our studio has been empty. It's pretty much just me here every single day, um, making sure the place doesn't burn down. So we got all of our movies here, our big wall, nice open lounge, massage chair. Have our little kind of screening areas. So we got a projector, our VR setup. The kitchen has been immaculate during this time. We've been able to keep it really clean because no one's in here. It's a perk. Had no management here. Um, usually our sales team, marketing, that kind of stuff sits up here. But nobody's been here. And saving on the light bill. No staff. Honestly, been spooky some days. So what we've been able to do is send all of our machines home. So as you saw, there's no computers under these desks. So what we've done is we've set up a network on our VPN and we've been able to send all of our computers home. So a lot of our staff is working from there safely, obviously, and it's worked pretty flawlessly so far. We've still been able to keep full production on our films. Um, everyone's been happy and we've really been able to still develop our content, which is important because we all here think, um, obviously that 2020 and 2021 are gonna be big years for Arcana. So we're all, we're very excited. Hi, my name is Gary and I'm a 3D modeler. I've been with Arcana for 10 years now. Wow. My favorite Arcana memory would have to be when I first got the job. I came in straight out of school and I went for an interview with this little startup studio. When I got hired, I couldn't believe it. I was actually gonna get my dream job. It was a very significant moment in my life. One of the projects I most enjoyed working on would have to be Kagagi. Our pre-production team was less than 10 people, and I'm very proud of how much we accomplished with such a small group. We have an amazing team of skilled artists from many diverse backgrounds. Working here, we're encouraged to speak our minds and express ourselves artistically. This helps increase the quality of our projects. Our input is valued, and that's what makes working at Arcana worthwhile. I feel like Arcana is still in its infancy. The studio is expanding quickly and will only go on to bigger and better things from here. Thank you so much to the amazing, hardworking men and women at Arcana, bringing you amazing animated content, Heroes of the Golden Masks, Ultra Duck, Miskatonic, and Go Fish the animated series. It's a follow-up to the Go Fish from Lionsgate. Uh, Grindstone came out last November. That's also in production. 
Thank you, everyone. I appreciate this. I know it's not the uh, most ideal circumstances. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe, stay strong, and be kind to each other. Take care.